So why a patient develop movement disorder? So what is the structure involved in the movement disorder? Broadly speaking, the main important center to control all this movement is the basal ganglia, which is located in the brain near to the body of the lateral ventricle. So this basal ganglia along with the thalamus and some part of the midbrain, the substantia nigra, subthalamic nucleus and its connection that is connection to the cerebellum and different parts of the brain is the one which control the movement disorder. So there are certain pathways, direct pathway, indirect pathway and hyperdirect pathway. So any pathway is affected person will have movement disorder. For example, as I told in Parkinson's disease, slowness will occur. Slowness will occur due to involvement or the abnormal function of the direct pathway. Hyperkinetic movements occur due to indirect pathway involved. And in part of the movement disorder is postural instability. Patient forms. The postural instability is also affected by certain nucleus in the brain. That is brain stem pediculopontan nucleus and other structures all these pathways will have control on the posture 